And we have Luc van Houten who will be translating for us. <laughs> Mr. Tane is checking out the sets. Um, gentlemen, welcome. It's a pleasure and an honor to have you. Um, first off, we, we would like to, I would like to talk to you about your, your collaboration. When was the first time you discovered the work of uh, Johei Taneda, Mr. Koyeda? あの、スワローテールですね。岩井俊二監督の作品で、種田さんの美術というのを多分強く意識した、あれ何年ですか。96年で同じ年じゃないですか、幻の。ああ、そっかそっか。そっか。光と。その、デビュー作と同じ年だ
どどうですかこれださんあの前作まではほぼ僕の映画の美術というのは僕らが暮らしている日常的な空間と同じリアリティで作っていくで可能な限り自然こう光もそうだし色もそうだしセット的にも日常的なもので作ろうっていう意識で作ってきたんですけど今回の映画アネザさんに入っていただいた一番大きな理由はそのビニールの人形が心を持って動き出すっていう非常にこうファンタジックな設定を見てる人に納得してもらうためには多分その日常的な空間とはちょっと違うね場所に彼女を置いてあげないと動き出せないのかなと思ったのがスタートなんですけどもあの非常に見事にその彼女が暮らしているアパートしかもそのあこれから見ていただくんであれなんだけどアパートの中で人形がちょっとこうねふわっと浮くんですけど浮いた時に見える世界っていうのがねすごくその日常と地続きでありながら全く豊かなファンタジーにあの同,じ同じ空間の中でイメージが変わってしまうんですよね。それがやっぱり僕,に僕の中ではあの一番種田さんらしい世界観なのかなというふうに思いました。In, uh, in my previous films, they're always set in a, in a more or less normal reality,、um, also in, often in, in natural scenery.、Uh, also, the, the color of the film is usually pretty natural, and、um, it's the, the sets also like from everyday, everyday life. So, of course, for this film, It had to be slightly different. So, a big reason、uh, for me to ask、uh, Mr. Taneda is、um, that for this film, we, we needed, of course, it's, it's about a plastic doll and she has a heart, so it's not really、mm. your everyday reality.、Mm. Uh, there's a slightly、uh, different magical aspect to、mm. it, but I didn't want it to be like a completely、uh, fantastic mm. Uh, mm. setting. So, we just did everyday reality that was slightly different.、Mm. And I think he did a very splendid job. Uh, in realizing that.、Uh, for example, there is a scene in the apartment where the doll just lightly floats.、Mm-hmm. So it's never like really obvious, but、never、it's always there, this slightly different aspect. So、uh, in, in this sense, it's, it becomes some sort of like luxurious fantasy、um, that you stay within the same everyday reality, but the image of it changes ever so slightly.、Yeah. Mr. Tane, for the, for the work you made in Rotterdam, the, the call signal. Uh, Tane de Kolsingel Cube, you, you changed the facade of the building、um, and then went on、uh, with an interior that already puts you in a very specific mood. There's images of your work,、uh, different films you've made, and then there's、uh, downstairs there's a clip from, from films that you worked on. How did the process for, for making this work、uh, develop for you? What, how what was the Uh, development of, of the idea like? Uh, 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 u 映画の世界よりは少しシンプルにして表現しているので、えー、見ていただくとそんなに映画っぽいリアルな感じには見えないと思うんですけどもただその僕の中では、えー、日常の中にファンタジーを作るっていう仕事としては同じつもりで映画と同じつもりでやってます。と、うん、いうか同じつもりでやってました。うん Well, when, when you work、uh, in film or for film, of course, you sort of like、uh, create a dream or a dreamlike world.、Uh, And that, that may be difficult to convey in an everyday space、mm. like, a, like that cube.、Um, so, what I, w- what I wanted to stress、uh, in what I've done to that, to that place is that、um, even though it's not a very f- film like、uh, location,、uh, I wanted to also create、um, an atmosphere that is slightly、uh, fantastic within, within that everyday real world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.、Uh, Location. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and how, how, did you, how do you do something like that? 
具体的に言うとですね、まあ、一つヒントを言うとするとこのエアドールとエアドールのこの空気人形の映画と同じ雰囲気を少し作っていますそれは具体的に言うとエアドールの中で、まあ、これから見るんですけどもその水面を漂うようなイメージというか水面に浮かんでいるような人形がイメージが出てくるんですけどそのイメージをそのキューブの中に色彩とグラデーションで表現してエアドールを見たお客さんがそこに行くとそのエアドールの気分に少し浸れるような浮遊感フローティングする感じを作っあのペイントで作りました。Well, I can give you one hint, of course, without giving away too much of the film because、uh, we still have to see the film. But、uh, in, in Air Doll,、uh, I tried to create this sort of like the same atmosphere as in, as in the film. A, there are images in the film of, of, of water surfaces, t h e r e sort of like and then things floating on water surfaces. So that's one of the things I tried to recreate within the, the space of that cube that、mm-hmm. kind of feeling of a, a slightly floating feeling and,、mm-hmm. and, a, and a flickering feeling、mm-hmm. of water surfaces. Is that because of、uh, the Netherlands and water? Or,、uh, yeah, and yeah? Japan is of water.、Ah, okay, yes. okay. <laughs> so.、Um, uh, uh, how you make more、uh, work as an artist, um, um, you not only work as a production designer, but also、uh, are an artist. What's the difference be,、uh, between the two worlds for you? うんまあ、僕はいつも映画のための美術をやってるつもりでいるので、えー、その他の仕事をやる時もいつも視点は映画の美術っていう視点を崩さずにやるようにしてます、えー、それを壊すとですね単なるアーティストになってしまうのであの僕は普通のアーティストじゃなくてあくまでも映画の監督やキャメラマンと一緒に働いている美術の視点っていうのを、えー、実際のこういう。えー、映画じゃない仕事の時もなくさないようにやってます。Well,、uh, I always try to to be、uh, look at it from the from the way of, of of like art and art design. Also, when I when I'm do, doing the, the film work,、uh, as well as when I'm working as an artist, because I'm I'm not really an artist in the real sense of the word, and I try not to lose、uh, my my point of view as a, as someone who works for film. So I try to, try to always、uh, keep the same. Uh, point of view whether I'm actually doing something for a film or just as an、uh, autonomous、uh, work of art.、Um, Mr. c r e a t o r Erdo is the, is the first film、um, that you made uh, uh, not on a script that you developed、uh, completely yourself. It was、uh, uh, based on a, on a manga. Um, um, how was that to, make a fir-、uh, to, to start like that on a film?、Mm. 確かにあの原作のあるものを映画化するのはデビュー作以来なので久しぶりでなんですけどけど例えばあの僕の作品で言えば「Nobody Knows」という映画は実際に東京で起きた事件を自分がそ,こその事件から受けた衝撃をこう掘り下げていくことで考えて考えて想像していくことで作っているんですよね。でスティルウォーキングというのも母親を亡くしてた後に作ってるんだけどその母親をもう一度考えてみる自分の記憶の中を探っていくっていう作業で作っててそういう意味で言うとねあ,のあまり変わらないんだな何かその何かとの対話何かを見つめていく考えていくっていう作業の先に作品を生んでいくっていうことで言うとそれほどあの今までと変わらないスタンスで作れてるような気がしますけどね。Yeah, so it's true that this is the first time actually since my first film, my debut film, that I've、uh, made a film that's based on, on an original.、Um, but I must say, like, for example, my film Nobody Knows,、mm-hmm. uh, that is actually based on an incident that happened in reality.、Mm-hmm. The woman、uh, who leaves her kids alone、mm-hmm. in the house and, and one of the kids dies, that really happened. But the film itself, of course, I've used my imagination、mm. uh, and I've been thinking about this character of the, the mother in that film,、uh, her mental state and what she was thinking and what her emotions were. These were the things that I imagined myself.、Mm-hmm. Those I didn't get from reality.、Mm-hmm. So, in that sense, you could also say that that film was based、mm. on something that, on an original. Yes. Of course, it was not a novel or a manga, it was an incident in real life. But the process of starting from an original and then 
filling it in and turning it into my own film, mm. the process itself is not all that different. Mm. I see. I see. Um, again, without wanting to, to spoil too much about uh, the film, um, uh, what I really like is the, the philosophy that's in the film, I guess, um, where it says that uh, as a person you can only really grow or, or change in relationship to, to other people. Mm. Um, uh, um, can, can you talk a little bit about uh, uh, how an air doll makes this happen? Don't stay. なんかそのビニールでできている中が空気の人形という存在自体がま、この映画の中でま、理由はよくわかんないんだけど心を持ってえ、どんどんこう人間になっていくものがたりなんですよね。で、え、その時にこう中が空っぽのビニールの人形が